Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to start a new tutorial series on TestNG framework. So this is going to be very interesting and very useful stuff for all the automation testers and SDET engineers. So this is a benchmark for all the IT sectors and IT companies that do they follow for uh, web automation framework designing. Even if they use the Cucumber or any other framework, they use uh, in addition to that framework they use this TestNG and which is more reliable and very useful. So we'll uh, start this introduction series now and then after we'll show you the setup and how can we uh, have all the test cases written in the test ng and reports and everything. So let's get started this session and in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel. Let's move on to the agenda for today. So agenda is the test ng introduction why the test ng with selenium the advantages of testng over jinit the annotations in testng and reports so let's move to the testng introduction and this testng is being created i mean the creator of the testng is cedric best and the one who created this testng framework and uh, this testng is an annotation testing framework in which ng stands for next generation and testng is inspired from the junit because the most of the ideology is pretty much same with junit and testng but there is some addition into the testng that i am going to discuss in this tutorial and this is very much i mean annotation based uh, uh, the framework so any annotation which starts from at the date and there is isn't some disadvantages in the junit that has been overcome by our testng and it is made uh, it is designed to make the end to end testing very easy and one of the most important that testng is an open source automated testing framework and uh, because of its openness most of the it sectors and it companies has been using this testng automation for the web testing and this eliminate most of the limitations on the older framework like n unit j unit and it will provides an ability for all the testers and developers to develop a good uh, testing framework and easy annotations and grouping and sequence and parameterizing and parameterizing and grouping plays a major role in the current web automation and also in the mobile automation and backend automation so this grouping and parameterization plays major role so that i will discuss in upcoming tutorials so let's move on to the next slide and why testng with selenium so the question arises in interview also and why this testng with selenium only because selenium has some disadvantages but in addition to with selenium and testng there is many advantages so we'll discuss one by one so the first advantage is the generating reports so there is no uh, reports such we have for selenium or we can say selenium web driver and this test ng provides us like providing it reports and this generates a reports in the proper format which includes the number of test cases run number of test cases passed number of test cases failed number of test cases skipped and it will provide a detailed information on what all test cases been executed in every run and multiple test cases can be easily grouped and more easily convenient to uh, them into integrate into the testng dot xml file and this testng uses one xml file even if we use a maven project or normal project we can uh, launch this testng xml so that it will trigger all the test cases that we have written in the any format of languages like java c sharp perl python and also it will provide us a good feature like prioritizing the test cases so it's like i mean uh, in every test cases that we need to prioritize so what test case that we need to execute first and what execute uh, test case that we need to execute next so like majorly like login functionality should be a priority one that should be executed first and then after logging into inside a home page and all that comes our next priority and we can have an execution of multiple test cases in multiple browsers so this test ng provides such options like cross browsers testing also which will supporting to in addition to the uh, selenium grid as well we can use this test ng in the integration and this test ng framework can be easily integrated into uh, tools like maven or jenkins and etc it is very much easy and user friendly kind of uh, uh, configuration and it is 
very useful and the annotations used in the testings are very easy to understand because the JUnit limitations has been overcome by this test engine because in JUnit we have an annotations called before after so that is not giving much or more I mean uh, information and uh, some information is missing on the JUnit side but in this test ng provides information like before method after method before test after test so that will clearly uh, give you information that what it is and the web driver has no native mechanism for generating report this we discussed already in the first point that uh, it should selenium should rely on the third party uh, reporting formats like test ng it will provide a test ng report or if you wanted to go some other reports like xlt extent report and this test ng is very uh, i mean to say it's a simplifying the way of tests are coded and there is no more need of any static main method in our test because every i mean in java the main method is very much important to run any program but in test ng there is a good advantage that each test at the rate test annotation when we run without any main method so that is very easy and uh, i mean we no need to use this main method here to execute any tests and there are uncaught exceptions are mod i mean automatically handled in the test ng without terminating the test permanently because in java if there is any exception occurs so automatically our tests will terminate from there and then later there there will be no uh, test step or no code will be executed so this test at the rate test annotation if you give a, like a five test annotations so if one test annotation fails so remaining four test annotations will automatically runs and it will not terminate that test at that point and the one test case which been failed it will provide you the information on what i mean what exception that has been caught and that will be on the console logs so we can see the console logs or we can see the test ng report for more information on the the exception and let's move on to the next slide the advantages of test ng over junit so i said most of the advantages in the previous slide only but to more precise the annotations are very easy to understand because junit provides you like at the rate before after at the rate method or at the rate test and whereas test ng provides the before class after class before method after method before group after group and these are the uh, pretty much uh, additional feature that we have in the test ng then uh, junit and test ng can be grouped easily so grouping in test uh, grouping in test cases are more easy and very uh, simple in test ng and we have a parallel testing as well because test ng xml has one attribute or we can say one tag which has a parallel execution we can make the parallel execution count as one two three based on our requirement so that the parallel test case has been executed uh, at the same time but i will tell you the disadvantages of this parallel uh, testing in the test ng maybe in upcoming uh, tutorials because that is uh, one of the most important question that been asked in every interview is uh, a parallel testing is uh, good to uh, take in the test ng or should user should go to the selenium grid or will uh, test ng parallel testing is much more reliable than grid so i will tell this uh, answer in the upcoming tutorials let's move on to the next slide and the annotations in test ng like we have discussed in the first slide so all the annotations are very user user understandable uh, kind of uh, annotations like before suit after suit before test and after set so and before groups after group before class after class before method after method at the rate test so at the rate test is a main test case that we are going to be write our condition or that we we are going to uh, derive a scenario in the at the rate test area and these are like before after methods are used for pre and post conditions mostly they are used for that uh, purpose only like uh, before suit and after suit so uh, so this before suit like uh, it will run before all the test has been triggered or run and after suit will be uh, triggered when all the test cases i mean all the test has been ran and before test after test like 
based on the uh, context on of that uh, annotation we can understand the the purpose of that uh, annotation and one important uh, point here we need to uh, uh, discuss is that so before test after test before method after method so this is the must asked interview question also what is the difference between before test and before method so you need to understand the purpose of these two annotations because before test will run if if my class has three tests so before test will run before running the three tests and before method will run for every test so if you are having three test annotations uh, derived then before method will run three times before the test being invoked so this is the difference between these before test and before method and the grouping also i mean before grouping and after grouping so this is the list of groups that been configuration method will run before and this method is guaranteed to run shortly or before the first test maze method that belongs to any of the groups is invoked and similarly we have before class and after class so before class will run first i mean this will run first test method in the current class being invoked and similarly after test so this will run after all test methods been run in the current class then it been run so after running all the test methods only it will invoked and uh, the one good feature is that uh, before suit and after suit so after running your results and all the results has been archived or we can say all results has been published then this after suit help us to trigger any emailable notifications or any additional uh, uh, code that can wrap entire test reports into one file and then send it to any user that will help and that will serve in the after suit and this will help us in uh, sending a e reporting kind of feature in the test engine so these are like uh, almost uh, a very user user understandable annotations in case if you have any qu queries on these annotations please do post in my comment section and also i will uh, demonstrate an example on this all the annotations and show you how can these uh, mechanism going to be work so let's move on to the next uh, slide so this is going to be reports and this is uh, most important in terms of reporting uh, perspective because whatever we done it plays one part and reporting plays a major part because every uh, organization on higher level management will expect uh, some understandable report and this test ng reports provide some uh, good information and uh, in console like in to so say in uh, whenever we execute any test ng class or any test ng automation once it ran you will see the console logs so console logs like if it is an eclipse or intellij you can see the console logs so in the console logs you can see some default suit or default test so how many test case ran how many test case failure how many test case has been skipped so that count will be provided here in the console and there is one more uh, file called uh, test results file or test ng uh, report so that is the test ng results file which is on the back side so this is a test ng uh, report that look like so almost it will give the same kind of information it will provide some additional information that how many test cases has been run you will see uh, uh, the coloring also like what all test cases has been green color that is passed what are in red it is failure and any exception caught in the any test annotation or the any uh, annotation which fails you will see the the stack uh, information also so like this the stack information look like and it will provide you detail information as well and in case if you wanted to forward this to any uh, any of the higher level management then you can forward this test ng report and in case if you wanted to use some additional reporting like extent report or excel tld report and i will show that uh, kind of reporting in upcoming tutorials and this is a very uh, useful uh, reporting one can understand uh, very easily by looking into this uh, test ng report and in the re results area you can see uh, here uh, we have five test methods and one failure one skipped and three passed and failure methods and skipped methods and passed methods you can see the details over here 
so this is the result section and this is the info section and in the info section you will uh, find what all things that been given in the groups and time and reports and reporter output and ignored methods and the chronological views so this is the uh, some uh, brief on the reports of test ng and we'll discuss more in upcoming tutorials and thank you for watching and in case if you have any questions do post in my comment section i hope this session is useful for you and let's meet on the next tutorial of test ng framework thank you, thank you.